21 is the final type that we're going to cover. There is no set structure to these questions apart from that they are long and wordy. We're going to do a couple of examples to give you an idea as to what may come up. The first example. Ronan leaves home at 1540 and arrives at the swimming pool at 1555. Scott only gets to the swimming pool at 1606. Josh takes twice as long as Scott to, to get to the swimming pool, but arrives at the same time. Ronan and Josh leave home at the same time. What time does Scott leave home? So as you can see, you've been given a fair bit of information and you can either work it out purely in your head or to help you, you could write down a table or some way of putting it down to make it easier for you to calculate. We're going to use a table and we've got a column for the person, what time they leave, how long they take and what time they arrive. So we've put an R for Ronan, J for Josh and S for Scott. And then we look at the information we've been given and fill it in. So Ronan leaves home at 1540. So Ronan leaves at 1540 and arrives at the swimming pool at 1555. So Ronan arrives at 1555. Scott only gets to the swimming pool at 1606. So Scott only arrives at 1606. Josh takes twice as long as Scott to get to the swimming pool. Do we know how long Scott takes? Not yet, so we can't actually write down how long Josh takes. But we can use this information where it says Josh arrives at the same time as Scott because we know what time Scott arrived so Josh also arrives at 16.06. Ronan and Josh leave home at the same time. Again, we know what time Ronan leaves home. They told us it was 15.40. So if Josh leaves at the same time, we'll fill in that he's also leaving at 15.40. Then we have no other information that we can just fill in, but we can work a few things out. So we look at what we've been asked. What time does Scott leave home? So we want to find this out, what time Scott leaves home. But in order to do so, we need to know how long he takes. And the only information we have is that Josh takes twice as long as Scott. So if we can work out how long Josh takes, it will help us to find how long Scott takes. And we can work out how long Josh takes because we know what time he leaves and what time he arrives. So he leaves at 15.40 and arrives at 16.06. So he takes 26 minutes, which is twice as long as Scott. So therefore, Scott must take half of 26 minutes, so Scott must take only 13 minutes to get there. Now that we know that, we can find out what time Scott leaves, because if he arrives at 16.06 and he took 13 minutes, it means he must have left or started his journey to the swimming pool 13 minutes earlier than 16.06, which is 15.53, and that's the answer. Here's another type 21 example. In this particular example, you've been given a passage of text. And from that passage of text, you have to work out which of the following sentences which they'll give you must be true from what you've just read in that passage. So let's have a look at an example. So here's our passage of text. Kyle, Saeed and Jordan try out for the tennis team. They each need to win at least three matches to make the team. Kyle wins two matches, loses two, and draws in one. Saheed and Jordan both win more matches than Kyle. Which of the following statements must be true? So, from the text we've been given, which of these must be true? Okay, so let's have a look at A. None of the children make the team. Now, we know that must be false, and I'll explain why now. Because... They first told us that Kyle wins two matches, but both Saheed and Jordan win more matches than Kyle, so that means they must win three or more. And if you win three or more, that means you're good enough to make the team. So A is false. B. 
all three of them make the team, well, we know that's false because Kyle only wins two matches and you need to win three. Okay, let's have a look at C. Sahid does not make the team. That's also false because remember, they both won more than Kyle. So, and Kyle won two, so they won more than three, so they make the team. Um, and let's have a look at D. Sahid and Jordan both make the team. Well, that's true because they both win more than two matches, so they win three or more, which is enough to make the team. So let's have a look at E. Only Kyle makes the team. Well, we know that's false because Kyle doesn't make the team. So the only one that's true in this case is D. So our answer is D.